What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can edit a Photoshop template. Just before I get into this video, let's say if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop or even After Effects, be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So let's get straight into the video. I'm going to be downloading a template right here from this YouTuber right here. So shout out to this guy right here, link to his channel will be in the description. And yeah, so he's in a speed art on a YouTube channel banner, which is probably what most of you want a template for. So obviously most of them, most banners or most templates for Photoshop are going to be on this website right here which is Mega or Mediafire. The website doesn't really matter, go ahead and click download. Now obviously all of you probably do know how to download the file, however I'm just showing everyone the exact way how to do it with no cuts. So just go ahead and click save and you can see it is now done. So now you'll need WinRAR or WinZip, all you need to do is right click, click extract here. That is why you'll need WinRAR or WinZip to extract it. You should get a folder like this, just go ahead and open it up. Now, if it's a good banner made by a good person, that's not lazy, you should get the actual font required for the template. And you've also got a read first right here, so um, you can see right here, just give him credit. So, oh, it's actually created by this guy right here, so credit to that guy right there. And yeah, if they don't have the font with the pack they've given you, then it's actually very simple to do. So you'll see if I open this up right here, I haven't installed the font yet, so let's see what happens. So I haven't installed the font and it opens up and this is what I get. Code bold, don't resolve, saying I haven't got the font. Now why is really simple to figure this out? Because you can see it tells you the font right there. So if we go to Google Chrome or your web browser, type in code bold, which is the name of the thing, the font, oops. You can see we go to the font, it's right there. You can go ahead and download it for free like this. We're going to go ahead and install this so you can see the bold one right here. Install and it is going to install then if we come here you'll need to restart Photoshop so just close out of it now come back to the folder which is right here remember we didn't install it from there we're pretending as if that wasn't there now we're gonna go ahead and open up the Photoshop template and this time it's managed to open up straight away without having to say anything about the text so text really isn't an issue however it is handy if it is already there so I think this is Spanish or something because it's texty, but anyway, or it's just a mistake. But anyway, let's get into the editing. So once it has opened up, new beginners, you may look confused to this, but if you come to the right hand side right here where it says layers, you can see if we scroll up and down here, it shows everything used within this banner. So you can see we have the background right here, so we move this, it's the red. And yeah, let's get into it. So here's the text right here and how to edit, just double click the T right here and call it whatever you want, most likely your channel name because it's the biggest one. Now press Ctrl A to highlight the text and just shrink it down by sliding left on here. Left click and slide left. Go ahead and click the tick and then just move it into the correct position. Now if we use, for those that actually know Photoshop, it can snap into place like that. However, you can see this photo on the right is actually bigger than the photo on the left. So the center that Photoshop gives us isn't actually the center. So if you want to know how to enable that snapping, come to view, go to snap right here. And now you can see we can snap it in the middle. Then if we use the arrow keys by pressing left on the arrow keys, we can center it ourselves like that and just put it up a little bit like that. So that is how you edit the text. Then you can see if we scroll up here, we've got the Facebook. And he's actually put this in folders for us. So if we press the down arrow, your Facebook. So double click the T again, put your name, press the tick. Same with Twitter, double click this again, put your name, click. And then same with Instagram finally, double click the T and just put whatever your name is. Now you can see Instagram doesn't fit so I'm going to go ahead and just shrink that down like so. Now obviously for this banner or this yeah this banner if one doesn't fit you'll need to shrink down all the rest. So you can see the font of uh, this is size 30 so I'm going to change the others to size 30 as well. So the Twitter is going to go to size 30 like that. The Facebook is also going to go to size oops oops Oops, there we go, got it up here, size 30, like that, and go ahead and click the tick. Now, it all looks proportional. 
Now I'll give you a little tip here. You can see it's got his uh, logo there. If we scroll down, you can see this is it right here, his logo. All you need to do is come to this and click delete. It is now gone. Now if you come here and click new layer, which is this, and we come to the bucket tool right here, come here to the fill colors, and we'll choose black, press the background, you've now sorted out your background, it's got no watermarks on it either. Now you can see the red thing's actually gone, that's because we put the layer above it, so if we drag it down, there we go, it is sorted. Now once that is all done, you're happy with your banner, come to file, save as, and I'm going to save it to the desktop, save it as a JPEG or a PNG, I'm going to call it that, YouTube banner template, click save, you want to make sure this is on maximum, and click OK. Now it's saved, you can also go X out of this, you can save this. So what that means, when you open this back up, it's going to have everything you just did on there again, so you don't have to go ahead and edit it, and you can see like that. So that is it. So this is the YouTube banner template, and it will upload, it is the correct size, and I'll show you right now. So we're using the same channel I used to show you the logo I created. So we're going to add the channel art to it. Just click add channel art like this. Now you want to go to upload photos, select a photo from your computer, go to desktop or wherever you saved it, and YouTube band template right here, double click it, it's going to upload and just wait for it. And there we go, now you get a preview of what it looked like on desktop, TV, and mobile. So all you need to do is just go ahead and click select, and that is how you edit a Photoshop template, and if you're doing it for a banner, I've just shown you how to upload it as well. So yeah, that is it for this video, hopefully you've been able to follow it, and let's just run through it very quick. You download a template of YouTube or wherever you would like. If it does not have the font, all you need to do is open up the Photoshop file, it'll tell you what the font is, go to Google, download the font. Obviously the font will be free, because the font the creator makes is usually free, shouldn't have a problem with that. Then just go ahead and edit the text and stuff like that, save it as a PNG or a JPEG and go ahead and upload it. So yeah, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop or even After Effects, be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to follow me on Twitter or I'll keep you updated when I'm going to be posting. Also be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel where I'll post three to four times a week. And finally, be sure to add my Snapchat or just show you what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.